Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now, in this video, we will learn about the new concept that is nothing but what I can say is animations. What are these animations? Okay, so animations plays a very important role in the UJS. So it's not a compulsory thing to learn, but it is also for a smooth uh, uh, for smooth navigation and all those things. We need to learn animations thing. So let's see how UJS uses the animations concept in the uh, project. We well, let's try to see in this video. Okay. So first, before continuing to the UJS animations. First, let's see what is an animation, how to do the animation and transition. So here you will be able to see that class based animation. So how we can implement the class based animation. Let's try to see. So here he has, they have given a simple example. That click me, it will uh, do the navigation, um, animation, sorry. So let's try to implement this one in a, with a simple example. So we, let's uh, not try it like this, we have a very big one. Let's try to do the very simple one, okay. So what I will try to do is, for example, here, let's go to the app.view. Okay, let's remove these all the things. I will remove these all the things. I will remove this component and also I will remove this one. Okay, so I removed everything bare bone. Now, what I will try to do is here, I will try, try to take one container. I will try, try to take one container. Okay, so this is the due class is equal to container. And in this container, what I can do is, sorry, and here, what I can do is, <clears throat> row all mod 12 okay and here i will try to do one box class is equal to box okay so this is one box and here i will have one button and class is equal to my hyphen 3 so top and bottom the margin it will apply and you will be having a button class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary i will be having button animate or click me click me okay so same thing like click me now here i will be having a box so i will try to do the styling for the box so box here i will write the box what i will write is width will be of 100 pixel okay width will be of 100 pixel and here height will be of 100 pixel and border i will try to do the border of of one pixel solid red okay and uh, what I'll write is a background color, background color, let's try to take the background color of okay. also red. So this is the basic output. Let's try to see the output here. If I try to see the output here, you'll be able to see the animation. Uh, sorry, one box with a color of background color red and click me button. Now, if I try, if I click on this button, so this has to move some uh, from here to here. Okay, it has to move from some uh, place. It has to move from x direction, x place to y place. In the xx direction so how we can implement this one so using the simple css thing okay we'll try to implement this one using the simple css so how we can implement this so let's try to have here box is there right now when i click on this uh, i need to do the animation so i can write click dot uh, click dot prevent is equal to on animate okay on animate click sorry on animate click Okay, so on animate click, what I will try to do is here I can remove this one all and the methods I will write on sorry on animate click. Okay, I will be having one method here, something like this, and here I can do lay this one. And what, uh, what I will try to do is here data I will be having a data, and this one will be having an object animate. Is false first time will be the animate will be false and here what i will try to do is in the methods i will make it true so this dot animate is equal to true so just i am having one variable okay i am having one variable with animate animate false okay animate false i am having one variable animate false so when we click on this uh, button animate so i make it as animate animate true now if i try to see if I click here, the class animate animate has to apply for this for this box icon. So how can I do? So I can use the class based component. So how we how they have told told us we have seen the example right class based. So class is equal to so this could be an object so animate of animate. Okay. So if animate is true means to apply the class animate. Now if I go here and if I refresh this one, okay. If I click here. So you will be able to see that animate has been applied class 
so now when the animate has been applied to this class i need to move from one place to another so how we can do so here let's go to this box and here let's write dot animate okay we need to move from one place to another place right so what we need to do transform okay we will be having css class transform and i need to move it x axis so translate x to some something around 150 pixel okay so this is how we will be writing the css translate thing so transform translate x to 158 pixel x translate x means it will move skew means it will distort the shape scale means it will uh, increase the size these are these are the css classes what we are going now if i click here so if i try to refresh this one okay if i click here what is having it is moving from one place to another place but if you see here the thing what it is happening is it is immediately moving from one place to another so this is not the animation effect i want so the animation effect how i want is it has to move slowly something like that so slightly slide it should be sliding so how can implement that sliding thing so how can we implement that sliding is so here we can write transition okay we will be having another one that is transition and what is the transition we need to apply so we can write all means all the things it will translate trans, uh, transition will apply so here we need to have only transform so transform how many seconds you want something like 0 0.5 seconds you can write okay so this is the transition so now if i try to refresh this one and if i click here see it has been moved uh, size so like it, it has moved with the animation effect it has moved here okay so this is how we can implement the animation using the sliding effect okay using not uh, sliding effect using the transition and the transform so here what how we have seen <coughs> so we have seen using the what i can say using the class based component okay so some places or some some guys what they will be doing is so they will be writing the animation animations thing so for example if you see here the example here they have written the keyframes here okay so we can also implement the keyframes also so how we can implement the keyframes is first of all we need to write the keyframes keyframes okay keyframes animate box okay animate box so whatever the name you want you can give the name here i have given the name animate box and what i need to do so zero percent that means first time so at the starting so what i need to do transform so i need to do the transform and i need to translate x okay translate x so first it will be zero pixel only and here if you want you can apply another one also scale x scale x okay so it's something like one so first it will be something like this one so now 50 percent after after transition of the 50 percent okay you will be having 20 percent 10 percent whatever the percent you want you can write 50 percent translate should be of 50 pixel okay or otherwise 100 pixel and it should be something like 1.5 okay now again what you can write is 100 percent so 100% what it should become so it should move to 200 pixel and the translation should be of 1 okay so this is the animation what i want to write okay 100% this is the 100% so 0% it should be like this 50% it should be like this and 100% it should be like this so instead of writing the in the place animate like this so what we what we need to write is we need to write animation okay so how can i write animation so this one is also one class okay so this one is also one class oh, this one also. okay so this one is also one class animation and here what i need to apply animation the name of the keyframes okay animation the name of the keyframe here i can write animate box and how what is the seconds i want how many seconds i want to do so one second i can implement okay so let's try to do this one so now we can remove this transition thing okay so now let's try to do so now here if we go if we to go to the output if we try to refresh this one and if i if i click here see the animation has been executed now if you try to see if i, if I try to refresh this one and if i click here that the box is again coming back so why because is animation default what it will, it will apply the navigation and it will come to the original position if you want to stay like that only you need to write forwards okay so you need to write the forward we need to apply the forwards here so if you apply the forwards it will it will stay like that only now if we see if i try to refresh this one okay if i try to click animation see the animation has stayed there so this is how we will be applying the animations here using the class based 
class based component okay class based conditions we will be using so here this is the thing what they are doing class based animations so here they have used shake no activated so like this they have implemented so they have implemented so many navigation so much of animation so that is not our concept right animation is not our concept so there is a reason i have explained you the simple animation thing okay so here they have they have implemented the shaking thing there we have implemented the box one box moving from one place to another okay so here also you will be having style something like uh, so with style binding they are saying so style binding means nothing but what i can say so using the style also we can apply they are saying okay so this is the basic styling uh, using the animations thing okay so in the next video we will try to learn more about the deep about the animations if you have any doubt or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you